Hi, welcome to my video on streamlining your social media. My name is Amy Stevenson. I am the founder of Vamos Admin and I support small business with their social media and their admin tasks. Ultimately, it's my job to take away those tasks from business owners that they don't need to do themselves and free them up to work on their business and have a better work-life balance. So one of those things that I do for clients is social media management. Social media can be overwhelming. It can be overwhelming if you don't know what you're doing or you don't have the right tools in place. So I just wanna do a little quick video here to just show you a couple of things that you can do to make things easier for yourself. So the first thing that I'm often asked when talking about social media is which platform should I be on? This is a whole topic of its own. We don't have time to go through this in detail today, but what I wanted to just say was, think about where your ideal customers are hanging out. Target those two to three platforms and do them well. Don't try and spread yourself too thin. There's no point having six, seven, eight different platforms and barely posting to them, not doing engagement on them. If that's not where your customers are anyway, just target where your customers are, go there, show up and show up well. So the first thing that can help streamline your social media is your storage. When I talk about storage, I'm talking about where you have all of the different elements that come together to create your social media presence. One central system is key. I preach this to everybody. There is no point having things stored everywhere. And I can bet right about now you're thinking that's you. So if you are looking for your logo and you're searching through your emails from last year from when your designer originally sent it to you and you're trying to find your stock images and you've got your photo shoot photo saved on another folder and just everything's everywhere, stop. Create one central storage system. If you do anything today or take anything away from this, let it be that. I can guarantee you doing that one single thing will remove a boatload of stress and overwhelm when it comes to your social media. Create folders for your brand files, so your logo, your hex codes for your colors, your fonts. Create graphics files, store your professional photos in there, your Canva images you've created, your stock photos, have another folder for hashtag research and things like that, and make it accessible on other devices. So by that I mean, um, for example, I use Dropbox. That means I can log in on my phone, I can log in on this computer, I can log in on any computer, and I can get access to all of that. That is what I would recommend doing. So there is several different places you can do that. You can do that on Dropbox, you can do that in Google Drive, you can do it in iCloud, whatever works for you. And I'm just gonna show you here quickly an example of Dropbox. So this is a social media drive on my Dropbox. This is just empty. This is just to show you what it could look like. And you can see here, I've got folders for the hashtags, folders for the graphics, folders for the branding. You know, if we go into graphics, you can split it down into your stock images, your Canva, you have your professional photo shoots, whatever you've got, put it in here. Okay. So the next thing then we're going to look at is scheduling. Again, this will help a massive amount. This will help you avoid that 4 p.m. I haven't posted today. What am I going to post? Reduce the time you're spending on your social media. Ensure you have a consistent brand presence. And ultimately, this will make you feel in control. So the system I use for my scheduling is called Later. There are several platforms that you can use to schedule. Um, I'll just show you a couple here. So we can use Later, Buffer, Planoly, Hootsuite, the Facebook Business Manager itself. It really depends on what platforms you're scheduling to because not all of the apps schedule to all of the platforms. Use the free versions. Use the free versions until you can't use the free versions. That was an invaluable piece of advice given to me and I pass that on to everybody. You do not need to have all these expensive subscriptions mounting up for your social media. 
if you have lots of platforms, lots of content, massive mailing lists and things, and you have to subscribe to the advanced um, paid plans, then fair enough. But most people don't initially. So I just quickly show you an example of what later looks like, which as I said, is the system I use for my Instagram. It's very visual. So you can look at a calendar view. You can also look at the view of your actual feed, which is really, really good. This is super helpful if you're trying to maintain like a color system or, you know, a pattern because you can see it there without having to try and work it out in your head. You literally have to drag and drop. That's it. Drag and drop. You can then go in and fill in your caption, your hashtags. If you have the paid plan, you can also write the very first comment that will appear where some people like to put their hashtags in, but that's only on the paid platform and is not necessary. You can have two Social media is connected to this free version. I've got my Facebook and my um, Instagram, but I don't use this for my Facebook. I use the Facebook Business Manager. Um, it just depends, as I've said, what you're trying to schedule and to where. But it gives you an idea. So I can't begin to tell you how good you will feel if you have several weeks of content already posted. You could disappear away off for two weeks and nobody would know because your brand is still consistently showing up in your customers feeds. So I urge you to start scheduling. Take an hour on a Sunday night, schedule the next several weeks. That's it done. It might seem like a bit of a time investment initially, but it is worth it. So the systems that I use with my clients. Dropbox, we've looked at for a central storage system. Trello. Trello is a task management system. It's like a to-do list on steroids. So if I show you Trello just quickly, I can show you a basic board. You can see it's like a to-do list. This is just an example. So down the left-hand side here, I would have all my ideas um, and sample posts. Once I've got them scheduled, I would move them, drag and drop. Scheduled, I know that's done. Once those have actually gone out on Instagram, Facebook, whatever it may be, I can drop them into the complete. Happy days, I know what's going on. In these co cards, you can also you know, add the graphic itself, you can put the caption, any hashtags you're gonna be using. I use this with my clients because they can comment on it so we can feed back if we need to change the caption or they want to change the hashtags or anything like that. You don't need to do this if it's your own feeds. This is a middle step I use to liaise between myself and the client. Um, if you are doing your own social media, you don't necessarily need this, but you may like to have something like this where you can keep track of all your ideas and what you've used out of those ideas and, and um, just sort of have that bank of content there ready to go. So it's a really good app to use for lots of different things actually. <laughs> I would highly recommend having a, a look at Trello for your business. Um, and then as I said, after Trello, I schedule in later and I schedule in Facebook Business Manager. Those options would change depending on where you are scheduling to and what apps you've chosen to use to do that. And that's it. I guarantee you taking those couple of major steps, creating a central storage point and putting everything in it so you've got one place to go to when you're needing to post or create content and scheduling so that you are consistently showing up and you're not having to spend a lot of time on your social media, I guarantee you that will give you so much time back and it will remove any overwhelm or stress that comes with social media. If you're finding social media overwhelming, if you're finding that you just have no idea what to do, when to do it, how to do it, reach out. This is what I do and I'm happy to help anybody that needs it. So there's a range of ways you can contact me. I have my website there, vamosadmin.co.uk. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn. 
and you can email me also amy at vamosadmin.co.uk I hope this has been helpful for you um, I've loved putting this together and yes I hope to speak to some of you soon